Welcome to part three of the chicken coop build. Today we are going to side this side of the coop and try to get the run done. Now for whatever reason, every time we've come to work on this, we've always started at three o'clock. And uh, now that it's going to get dark real soon, we uh, we won't have much time to work on it. But uh, we we'll, we should be able to get a few things done. Uh, we need to side the the side so that we can affix the posts that we're going to be digging into the ground to the to the wall there. So yeah, we should get started. And today I have helping me, of course, Dakota. Everyone knows Dakota, Hello. and and then my friend Jarrett. How are you doing? You, you may have. You may recognize him from when I go to that that uh, place that he owns, that cool cake bar. Uh, we are basically just gonna get straight to work. This is basically what I'm using for siding. This all came from a guy, Tom, who donated it off of his house. I told him that I wanted it when he had some other stuff he donated. And so i am we've processed this yesterday, me and Ashley, and now we are going to use it for the siding. So you might remember that I have this auger thing that I got from the Home Depot. They were selling it for uh, whatever reason. Dakota and Jarrett are going to be digging holes while I'm putting the siding out. Now this type of siding is like the kind that's supposed to go diagonal. But since this is just a chicken coop, I'm not worried about that. I'm going to put it horizontal just like this. Uh, I can always just take it off and redo it with a different kind of siding if it's causing issues with uh, water coming off of it. Uh, basically my issue is here. Um, we have the water, like it overlaps like this, but then it will, re the water will rest here, um, sort of, instead of just coming all the way down. There is holes and stuff in it, in the, it as well as from taking it off of the old house and stuff. Uh, but we're going to, uh, just go with it. It didn't cause issues for the house, so it shouldn't cause issues for us either. And then we do have, uh, I was stapling this and I went through here. This is one of the chicken run holes and we have another one over there. Uh, okay, so the first two holes closest to the coop have to be dug by hand, unfortunately, because the, the machine just can't get close enough. But while they're doing that, I'm gonna keep doing the, the siding and then Ashley is going to be doing the insulation. So Jerry used to be a guy, a fence guy. What, do, what is that profession called? Fencer? Yeah, let's go with that. Fencing is like... <laughs> right, right. He used to be... <laughs> he used to be a sword master. <laughs> he used to do that before he uh, opened his restaurant with his girlfriend. And uh, fiance. now fiance. I'm going to be one of his groomsmen, so I don't know why I forgot about that. Anyways, so he knows like depth and all that stuff, depending on what materials we're using for uh, to set and stuff. So... Uh, this is super clay, so we just, or he clay. decided that we're using this rather than hand bombing it because it is tough. But it's still tough to do this so close to the to the building. But we're still making some progress. Got super fumy, so I got him a respirator. 
Don't have two respirators, so he just gets a paper mask. All right, let's give her a go. <laughs> One more, third down is the All right, so we figured out where our marks are for all the rest of our holes, uh, basically by just making a little uh, eyeball and plate. I don't even know what you would call it. We just put wood down, some planks down, and then somewhat squared it up, and that's where we're gonna go from there. So we have them spray painted. In between the two orange dots is where they're gonna put the auger, and then they're gonna go down and then these ones should go a lot faster than the other one. So I've got them every four feet. And, and then uh, on top of that, we're gonna have some other framing inside Towards of it. You, just... Not gonna believe it guys but uh it's started raining it's raining so yeah i don't know if you can see the raindrops but it sucks we have the siding up high enough that we can put in the poles and we got most of them dug or i should say Dakota and jerry got most of them dug now we just have to do one two three four more just giving the machine a break because it was getting hot because this giving is the like, machine a break <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, it, it was this is pure clay basically, so it's hard <laughs> to dig through there for the machine. These guys are having no problem, but the uh, the machine is not keeping up with them. Swing in these first but feet. now I'm I'm just gonna carry on, keep doing go, like, that as high yeah. as I can. Oh, okay. Got the ladder yeah. out, and yeah. I'm gonna go up. Yeah. So, From yeah. here on out, I'm going to just cut them to size. I was letting them go run wild, and then I cut them off after. Set the depth. Didn't really work too terrible good because of the, the, the bevels and some of them are a little cupped. So I'm actually going to end up uh, having to tape some of the holes that I cut in there, which is not a big deal. Uh, it's chicken coop. Um, it'll be fine. Ashley has been doing the insulation inside. And if you look through the window, you can see it's mostly done on the ground level. So good progress today, even though we started late and uh, it's starting to rain now, so we might have to quit soon. All right, so we got a ton done. Well, do, ton done. we got it to us. It's a lot to you. It might not look like a lot, but these holes took forever. Yeah, this ground sucks. It's clay and it's saturated with water. I'm not sure why it could be because it rained. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but Dakota has a prior prior engagement. Mm -hmm. He's going to go hang out with some of you guys on his channel, which is Madness Channel, M-A-D-N-E-Z-Z -Z Channel. Which is uh, a, a live show or whatever that you're doing? I do uh, Madness Mondays, which is a thing that I do every Monday where you guys come hang out with me, ask me questions, and I keep you up to date on what is happening next on my channel. All right, fantastic. Well, thanks for coming out. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Awesome. I'm glad that uh, everything is finally, you know, taking off again, you know? Yeah. Everything's Had to good. take a little break because of all the rain and mm -hmm. all the... All the not having money. <laughs> Alright, thanks a lot, dude. Alright, see you guys later. So in the meantime, Jared and I are gonna chill for a bit. Uh, we've basically done all the holes as I said. We're gonna start setting them. Uh, we're just setting them with gravel, which uh, is, uh, in my opinion, easier than doing concrete, because you don't gotta mix it. Uh, we're not doing concrete because uh, setting them with the gravel works just as good for this kind of situation plus it helps not rot it and I have uh, uh, what's his name hands I don't know why I forgot his name there hands uh, told me 
uh, that I should use gravel rather than concrete because of where I live and all that jazz. Lots of water in the soil, so don't want the post to rot. We are using uh, treated lumber, but I guess, I don't know. He knows more than I do. He's an old man. And plus, I have the fencing guy. <laughs> so, I'm in safe hands. No pun intended. We will, uh, we will carry on. Well, we have to dig a little deeper on each of the holes on this side, just so that we can bury a third of each pole. So I guess I'm gonna be doing some digging today too, unfortunately. <laughs> It's all clay. That was frustrating. Okay, now for the easy part, I guess. <laughs> Just gonna take a truck full of gravel, put in the holes, and set the posts. Okay, just tell me where to put the posts, and I can hold them. Okay, we're gonna do, uh, on this side, we're gonna have the 10 footers, which these might be 12s, which means the 10s are a little bit shorter. Those might be them right there.
as you can see, we can't really see because it's dark. And working with a cell phone flashlight is not exactly uh, working very well. So what we're doing now is quitting. And then tomorrow we are going to start again. Jarrett owns a business and he's open tomorrow. So he won't be here, but he's allowed me to borrow his truck because we ran out of gravel. Uh, you can only, with, with a half ton truck, you can only carry uh, half a yard of of gravel or whatever material you're buying and so uh, we can only take so much tomorrow I'll go get some more uh, we also have uh, uh, some more uh, brackets and stuff I need to pick up anyways for all the cross beams and stuff one more hole to dig oh I guess so oh well <laughs> yeah we just realized we have one more hole to dig damn it Ah, uh, oh well. Yeah. We'll dig that another time. Whatever, we got this thing unstuck. Um, yeah, we also noticed that we have one hole, I know you can't see that, is off center. My laser is in, uh, when I was doing a job in BC, I left it there. Luckily, I did it for my friend, and uh, so he'll give it back to me whenever I get out there or he comes out here. So that would have made things a lot easier if I had my laser level. We were just mostly just doing it with string line and then we were doing it with uh, some planks and stuff and measuring and then squaring up, blah, blah, blah. It was a whole process. We got it figured, but this one hole, for whatever reason, we made it a little off kilter, so I got to dig it out a bit. But tomorrow is another day, so we'll figure it out however we can do it. Um, oh, yeah, finishing my thought. I only have a quarter ton truck now because the black truck blew up. Uh, so that's why I'm borrowing his truck tomorrow. And he's going to take my truck home. Thanks a lot, Jarrett, man. No problem, buddy. I really appreciate it. Anytime. Bam. <laughs> if you guys are local, you should check out his uh, cake bar, dessert bar. It's really good. Plus, I built it. So, bonus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Onward to tomorrow. All right, so next day, uh, basically what I plan to do now while I'm here alone is dig out this hole so that we can have the poles all line up uh, going down the line. And I was thinking, I don't know if Ashley and I can handle it because uh, Jared is freaking strong. Uh, so it was easy for him, easier for him and, and I and or Dakota to dig the holes. But I plan, I, I don't know if I plan on it yet, but... It would be nice to have another four feet of run here because I did shrink it down left and right a little bit because I needed the uh, uh, concrete blocks or concrete pad to not be impeded by the, uh, the pole. You, whatever, I didn't, the pole couldn't go there because that was there, blah, blah, blah. So I think uh, adding a little more space would be good to go that way. I'm not sure. I also plan in the future to build a way bigger run going back here, like a, a pole and beam sort of constructed garage package so that they could have a space uh, that's, that's really big, kind of like a free range sort of situation. Uh, I have no idea when I'll be able to do that. Could be never, could be next year, I'm not sure. I mean this technically, according to all like the chicken forms and stuff, is a bigger run than they need, but I don't know how many chickens we plan on getting. I gotta apologize, it's really windy today, so hopefully the wind isn't uh, causing too much of an issue. All the uh, Tyvek is is blowing around here. Oh. oh yeah, and why is it upside down? Because they're not paying me to be in this video. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to get to work here uh, and then when Ashley gets home we'll try to put some more poles in and then I'll go get some more gravel. Okay so just dig out this little piece here and the pole should be able to fit in there and still have enough for the rocks to go all the way around it uh, nicely holding it snug. <laughs> All right, now just to hold it in place while I shovel the rocks that I have left into there, I screwed this piece to it. 
Now it should be plumb and uh, it should be lined up with all this. So I'm gonna fill it up now and then I'm gonna go get some more gravel. back home Ashley is here we are going to do the last couple uh, holes and we have decided that we are going to put two more like a, another four feet of run uh, but she has decided that she probably doesn't want to attempt to run that machine the two of us so we're gonna see if her brother will come out tonight if not we will I don't know yeah okay you want to try Okay, we'll try, maybe. And then uh, if that doesn't work, we'll uh, maybe start cutting off the rest of the poles. We'll lop off the tops. Obviously, they're all different heights. Uh, we have 10 foot, 10 foot, 10 foot, 10 foot, and then 12 foot, and they're all at different heights uh, just because of the way that the ground goes down and up and whatever, because it's not even, right? And then over here, we have all 12s, and we're about to put in two more 12s. So from there, we'll cut off the tops, and then we will get to... Uh, uh, putting on the on the top pieces and then maybe doing some more. We do, still haven't gotten the uh, uh, Brackets for everything so we'll have to get that at some point But we're gonna go as far as we can today All right, all of them are in. Now, putting in two more, or three more. One more length that way, and then three in the middle. We need to have one in the middle there just for structural stability, because we're gonna tie all of these together. We just need to get some hardware to do that. But for now, I think we're gonna cut them all off at the top. I'm gonna cut that window out, and so that's how we'll know how uh, low we need to put the, uh, the run. Um, so we put that window quite high-ish, sort of, uh, so that we could have the run so you could walk in it without bending over and stuff like that. Over on this side of the run, we will be able to do that much easier than on that side. Uh, so, you know, there is all that. But we're kind of figuring this out as we go, keeping in mind certain things as we go, of course. All right, on to the next step. All right, now that we have the window in, and we know that we want to have the, the run go below, like the top of the coop run to be below the coop window, uh, we marked it out right here. So our cross beams and like the, whatever you would call them, the top part is gonna sit on top of this. This is what I'm gonna cut off, and then I'm gonna make, uh, snap a line all the way across so that I can cut all of those off and then I'm gonna cut all the other side off and then they'll all be the same height uh, relative to level. So, first one is a pain because uh, I gotta use two different saws. I'm gonna use the circular saw and then I'm gonna use the reciprocator and uh, get that one off. Then I'm gonna get the rest. Then we're gonna work on what we need for the cross beams and internal framing, plus we're gonna put a door in here so there's still a little bit to do but we're making progress.
cut all the tops off so they are all even. Now we can just keep doing some of the timber framing here. We're gonna connect everything with some, for now at least, uh, with some uh, PL premium and some uh, some of these, what we used last time, these GRKs. Because I have a lot extra, probably like 20 extra. I, they might, there might not be enough, but they, they will uh, hold everything together. And then if we need some, some braces or whatever, then we'll get those as well, which we probably will need some. material and the brackets so uh, should work out still not sure if Ashley's brother is going to be coming or not to help with the last few bits but at least today we can finish up putting on one two three uh, cross pieces and we might call her there or we might keep going depending on what's going on so I don't know we'll see the issue is with if, if it was just Ashley and I uh, using the auger, uh, it could get stuck. Like yesterday, with Jarrett, it got stuck, and he's super strong uh, compared to me, and we could not pull it out of the ground. It was stuck for like almost an hour. We lost almost an hour of progress time trying to get it out, and if Ashton and I get it stuck, like we got it stuck yesterday, then uh, we're not going to be able to pull it out without uh, the extra muscle. So I'd rather do it with with uh, Ashley's brother as well as Ashley would rather do it like that too because um, he's he's uh, a lot stronger than she is so it'll be it'll be easier. So we'll see. But for now I'm just gonna put on uh, a few of those pieces there. All right, so I got an L bracket there and an L bracket here. Since this is not holding any weight, these will do just fine. These are meant for uh, exactly what I'm using them for. So then I'll place the four by four on top of here. In in this case, I'm I'm going to be putting a bolt through here or a, the, the GRK through there and then into the coop itself, uh, going into the cripple that I have here. And that's gonna help tie the building into the ground uh, so that it anchors it because it's really tall and I don't want uh, the wind ever blowing it over. Today it was pretty windy and it didn't move or anything like that, but it's not exactly a wind storm, but I, I don't want to chance it. So this will definitely help keep it into the ground. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna put the first one on and then the rest of them. Well, one, two, two more after that. And then, uh, then we'll see. I don't know if Joel's coming or not. Joel's my brother-in-law. We'll see though. So that's where we're standing. Uh, Joel's not gonna be able to come tonight, so we're not gonna dig the rest of the holes. We'll do those on another day. Hopefully not too far away because it is going to snow apparently this weekend, and that sucks. So we wanna do all that so that all of the moisture in the ground doesn't freeze if it just decides to stay cold. Then it'll be even harder to dig through it. It's hard enough as just water. So let's do a recap here. So Ashley, did all the interior, uh, you can see all the, or most of the insulation. Uh, then she helped me today, so we didn't quite finish up in there. Uh, we are going to be doing uh, some sort of paneling on the inside. We're thinking about doing plywood, but we might do something that's easier to wipe down. Some sort of interior paneling, something like that. We did the, the siding on one side of the house here, or house, chicken coop here. 
And that was because we were affixing this to the wall, so we didn't want to work around that uh, just just for ease. And then we put back in the window. Uh, that That's permanently in there. We still have to do the roof, of course. The reason why we didn't start with the roof, and perhaps I should just explain the one thing that you may have seen sneaking up in the video over on this side, is my temporary uh, worksite sort of scaffolding. This is what you would do if you were on a job site and didn't want to rent scaffolding or whatever. You just build something similar to this and you can walk across it and then you can just knock it off the house after. But uh, we put that up there last time we were working on it because we were going to do the shingles next. The only thing that's holding us back from there is cost. So obviously the pitch is super steep and so you can easily see all the shingles. I wanted to do something that looked really nice. Ashley wants something really nice. Uh, regardless of how steep it is, we'd want to do something nice. Uh, we were thinking about doing wooden shingles, like cedar. Uh, but the only thing is, is that it costs an arm and a leg to do. And uh, we we didn't know this was going to cost so much. So unfortunately, that's that's an issue. It's like 1600 bucks plus the shipping to get it here uh, for all the, the shingles there. So... Uh, we may just do tin just to cover it up so we can get the birds in there. They're ready to be housed together. Uh, it's getting a little colder, so we want to do uh, something as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but such is life. We got a, a decent amount done. We still have to do like the cross bracing in here, or not cross bracing, but just the the, the horizontal pieces in there. We got to put the gate in and. Uh, there's probably a whole bunch of stuff that I'm not even thinking about just yet. Uh, we got to put all the hardware cloth in there and then bury it, all that kind of stuff to keep all the predators out. We have a fox, coyotes. Well, we have more than one fox, but there's one that comes ar around mo most often. We have coyotes. There used to be a den back in those trees there behind where my brother Dave has his car parked and he brought some sleds over. He's moving here, so that's nice. I really wanted to buy the neighbor's place, but... That has nothing to do with the coop. Let's stay on track, Josh. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you have any suggestions on how we can get, uh, or uh, how do I want to say this? An alternative to cedar uh, shingles that looks, has that kind of look, like that cottagey look that kind of matches the siding that we have. Put that in the, the, the comments there. I would, I would love to hear about that kind of thing. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for part four and have a good day. Wait, don't have a good day yet. Continue having a good day. I just want to explain why I didn't do the, the siding all the way around. It's because of the temporary uh, scaffolding. Uh, the house wrap has to go all the way around, but, but since it has like the, there's these planks on the side, these right here are just kickers. So those could come off but this here and down here that has to come off before we can house wrap the whole thing and uh, we we didn't do that yet because we didn't do the roof yet so that's why we only sided the one side because that's the one where we knew we were putting something on the on the coop hope that makes sense all right peace All right, I gotta put the painting plans on hold. I just finished breakfast, get a text. I gotta go pick my brother up from the hospital. So, yeah.